Hey, so I'm making this like super quick video. Like the matchmaking pendulum, you know, like loser skew, winner skew, loser skew, winner skew is very, very obvious on low levels. Because if you look at this game, my my team is stacked. Everybody's good on my team. Absolutely. Everybody knows what they are doing. Despite the fact we have two junglers, it doesn't matter. Everybody was good. Absolutely everyone, right? And if you look at their team, they only had one good player and the rest of them just absolutely sucked. This guy was a bot, pretty much. He just inted and, and left the game. This guy is an inter, right? This guy was okay. Despite the fact that he has a lot of deaths, um, it's because I killed him so many times. I'm Trindemir in this game. And this guy was completely useless. He was just like, he was inting, basically. He was just pushing lanes. I would come in, I would two-hit him, and I would just get the kills. Right, so this guy, so you would be this guy. If you're on loser's queue, you are this guy. Like, you are a very good player, you have four feeders on your team, and you're against good players. Well, I wouldn't say that these guys are, like, super good, but they kind of, they knew what they were doing. Do you know what I mean? So, for you to win this game, you got to be faker. Honestly, you got to be, like, very, 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 very good. Like, for this guy to win with these four players, honestly, I would be interested in, like, having a faker replay this game and just play mid or whatever he wants and just to see if he can win the game. Because I don't think he would be able to carry this. Like, I don't think... Because I'll show you. I'll give you an example, right? In previous game, I played as Nasus and it was the opposite. Right, so we had three players that were completely new. They were like the master E from the previous game, right? They were like the master E from well, from my game that I just finished playing. They just did not know <laughs> what they were doing completely, right? And Diana was very good. She was like very, very, very good player. The problem is they had so much CC and they grouped so well, it became like close to impossible to like me and Diana had to 2v, 2v5 them and that did not work because they had too much CC and me as Nasus split pushing did not work as well because they grouped and they went mid and they just aram it and that's it, game over, right so do you see what I'm saying, like in here I'm in the loser's queue and in here I'm in the winner's queue and it's like, it's very, very obvious, very, very obvious to see. Because lose, usually, loser's queue is you're alone against good players. I wouldn't say they're like challenger smurfs, like, but you're alone and you have four feeders on your team. Every single lane is losing. That's how you know you're in the loser's queue, right? Because if you look at this, in here, Every single lane lost, except for um, Diana. Right? Against five good players. I wouldn't say their bot lane was pretty good. Like, I mean, but still, you see, like, they, they, they still knew what they were doing. They knew how to group. They understood the value of objectives. They know what to build. Right? I mean, their CS is, like, outrageously bad, but I mean... Relative to these guys, oof. these guys were like, they weren't even there, technically speaking. Because this guy was like doing some jungle sometimes, he was, he was just like doing weird. But what I'm saying is that it's very obvious to see that this is loser's queue, right? And this is winner's queue. Let's see what the next one is. My guess is next is going to be, well, it's going to be a coin flip next game. Because I'm one win, one loss. Take care.